And Denver 7 360 reporting on this debate started well before the FDA and CDC announced their decisions. And we wanted to provide some context here and explain why those agencies decided to approve the vaccine. Now, in their analysis, the FDA relied on a study of about 2,200 kids ages 12 to 15. Half got a placebo, the other half got the Pfizer vaccine. None of the vaccinated kids wound up with COVID, and the only side effects reported were mild ones like fatigue, headaches, chills, and aches. The FDA also stressed that the vaccine affects everyone differently, and there are cautionary tales. Utah high school basketball player Everest Romney was recently hospitalized days after his first dose of the vaccine. Doctors found blood clots on his brain but could not connect them directly to the vaccine. From what I understand, it is not a direct cause of the shot, but rather a perfect storm. We strongly encourage all of our patients and all of our community to become vaccinated because the risks of the vaccination are much less than the risks of the disease. And we wanted to get a better sense of whether that polling data lines up with parents in Colorado. So we talked to a few of them about this today and most didn't outright reject the vaccine for their children, but they're not really rushing to get one either. I haven't looked into the science about or how the studies have been going yet. We want to wait till the last minute. Side effects other than the ones they've shown come up, you never know. A smaller fraction of parents gave us a more direct answer. They don't believe in the vaccine, period, and nothing they say will change their mind. We have the choice, we have the freedom, and we can believe and, and act to what we feel is best for ourselves. Um, we have the choice. And the CDC and FDA both say the dangers of getting COVID really outweigh the dangers of getting the vaccine. Case rates among 11 to 17 year olds are higher than any other age group in our state. And we have seen examples of how devastating the coronavirus can be for young adults. Cody Lister was 21 when he got sick with the virus last year. A baseball player at Colorado Mesa University, only a couple years removed from a standout career at Rangeview High School in Aurora. I was changing that calendar page to a new year that you knew he was not going to have any part of. That was probably the hardest. There's not going to be any new memories. Trust me, we certainly understand how difficult this can be to navigate the subject of vaccines. So Denver 7 has put together an in-depth report to help you answer your questions. We also have a look at how the clinical trials are going for other vaccines in children. The hope is that with these newer uh, vaccines, we will be able to capture the variants. Um, and so we may get to the point where you get a Pfizer vaccine and then a Novavax um, booster, or you get a Johnson & Johnson vaccine and a, a Moderna booster. Our extended coverage is available right now on Denver 7 Plus, our free app for your Roku, Apple TV, or Amazon Fire. It is always on, even when other newscasts are not.